there. He's got that confidence on his side, but he's going a little earlier in the run than he would hope. So we talked to him earlier. I said, how you doing? He said, good. I got, a, got quite the run plan. So here we go. Last opportunity here for Emil Johansson. Can he make it four slope styles in a row? Front flip, bar spin to tuck no hander, similar to what he did last year. Can you get this double down? 360 double downside tail. Here's where he threw it away in the first run. 360 windshield wiper straight to paddles landing high. Clean. Is this going to be a winning run? Three whip to table. There we go. Opposite three double down whip up. Wow, he's balancing things out. Truck to down whip down. Last jump. No way. Opposite 360 bar spin to downside whip. Come on. Did we just Come witness on. the winning run that Amelia Hansen delivering uh -huh. under pressure? Yes. And there oh. it was. You can see that was everything he had planned. He landed that last jump, and all the emotion just came right out of him. All the buildup, just getting to this oh, event, man. blowing it on the first run, <laughs> and then sticking it early in the first round. So he needs a 93.50 oh. to lead. I, what do you think? You think that's that's capable? I mean, there was absolutely no downtime in that run. There's things in there that we have never seen. <laughs> yes, yes, I think there's a chance. <laughs> Are you saying there's a chance? <laughs> Delivering under pressure, Emil, what a pressure cooker of a run. So, you know, starting out crazy tricks that we've seen before from him, but then it's Emil. So it doesn't get easier every event. It gets harder. He goes 360. Double downside tail. We were impressed with the single before. And then the 360 windshield wiper, the trick that helped him win Roto Rua last year. Yeah, he gets that on a hip, links it right up into this oppo three whip to inward table. And then, yeah, oh, what? You liked that? <laughs> 360 downside dub, huh? Well, I'll do it my opposite way up into the whale tail. Trucked it down whip out. And then, come on, it's just got the full package, man. Oppo truck to down whip. Yeah, so much technicality in that run off of every single jump. He's tail whipping, he's throwing the bars, he's spinning, he's flipping, he's doing three and four combos per jump. I mean, you can see how excited he is. That was definitely his plan. There was no last minute changes there. And for a man that's been through so much adversity, but so many highs as well, the expectations must be rising. He hasn't lost a slope style event since 2019 at Joyride. Wow, incredible run. It had everything, Alan. I mean, it's actually so confusing. It's to see Cam have to concentrate so hard to call those tricks, then you know the level of difficulty. Yeah, absolutely. It, tail whipping in multiple directions, spinning in multiple directions, definitely the full package. You can see there, look, his pedals were a little off, but he has the composure and the wherewithal to know exactly where his pedals are before he puts his feet back on, makes the adjustment, and lands in. You know, two of the spots that really, really stand out for me is the cannon log and the whale tail. The, one of the reasons why tricking off that is so hard is it's completely blind. Okay, so Emil, I'm still catching my breath, my man. That was absolutely fantastic. I feel like I was lucky enough to bump into you this morning after a practice run, have a little chat, and you, you told me, uh, I said, how you doing? You said, ah, oh, I got a big run planned. And you obviously wasn't surprised by that, but at what point during the week of practice did you have that run in your mind? Did you make those decisions? <sighs> it's a tough question. I mean, uh, can you hear me at all? Yeah, we got okay, you. Perfect. Uh, I mean, that, that plan has been roughly in my head since I was here last year. I just couldn't make it happen last year with the wind and stuff. So I've had a dream scenario of working towards this goal and including all those tricks back to back. And when I look at it, it's like it's a lot of similar tricks. So some I haven't seen that in the past. So for me, it's uh, it's been a tough process knowing how that would score, you know, as it is. But to be able to fit all those back to back, the course needs to be longer for me to fit any more else or anything else, really. So that, yeah, this, well, this line is a dream scenario, really. It's just, I mean, I would imagine every time we see you drop a run, we freak out because it's the best run we've ever seen. And uh, to think that last year you had more that you wanted to do, and we're finally getting to see that now with these great circumstances. So I don't know what the score is going to be. I'm just as excited as you to find out. But I want to say, um, Please don't swear if it's a good score. I'm getting it. Okay, I got it. Emil, it's a 97.5. Check it out. First place for Emil Johansson. Congratulations, my man. A 97.5. Thank you very much. <laughs>
<laughs> no swears, just a nice thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, I'll clean up. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. You don't usually get to sit back and watch the rest of the show, but uh, I, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. It's going to be good. Nerve wracking. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Go get a good seat and uh, we'll move much. on to the next rider. Congrats. Let's see if anybody can top that. Top that. <laughs> we'll see. It's going to be perfect condition, so hoping for the best for everyone. It's on. That's the spirit of slope style right there.